I really didn't expect Atlanta to be able to win, especially their poor home, home form. Yeah. Lau, Lau looked like last season's Lau, uh, the, He looked like the MVP that he was crowned Lau for having a fantastic season, man. Uh, he, he's been playing good. You know, we've been watching Lautaro for so long, and as a, as a true prolific goal scorer, he, he has the uh, the ability to, to make, you know, something out of nothing. If you give me the opportunity, I want to compliment Peter. Pete, I got to compliment <laughs> not a you. Compliment. No, no, Thank no, no, no. I got to compliment you. We're usually not Because nice. many times off the camera, you're a total different person. Oh. But on the camera. Oh. Are we live? No. Are we, Nikki? Are we? Are we live or Okay, live? guys, let me do the introduction. Go it's for been it. a spectacular week. And Monday is like the cherry on the cake. Mm. Okay, let me introduce myself. Your friend Antonio from IFTV. Your friend Antonio. No, your friend I Antonio. Like fr don't forget about the cakes. Your oh. friend Antonio oh. from IFTV. Good afternoon. Mm. Milan tied with Roma on the fourth place. On my left over here, Peter Ukust. Okanika T. Peter. Okay? PC. PC. Mike. PC. PC Peter Ukust. Yeah. Next to him on his left is MNM. Okay? Marco Messina. Uh -huh. Okay? No clever nickname? No, no. M&M. M&M is the same thing. not clever. No, it's it's like you always say the same thing. You okay. gave him something different. Jeez, kind this of guy's got jealous over here. Jeez. And then we have Michael Kors over here. As no, don't call me that. AKA Michael Kors. Il Greco. D? There, I'm not going to say that. that. Okay, Il don't Greco. Don't say that either. Oh, no, I'm I not going to say that. I'm happy. This? I'm happy. Look at this, man. I'm happy. You're wearing a Brooklyn Italian shirt. I am. It's a little bit tight on you, though. What happened? No, yeah. it shows his physique. <laughs> You've been eating a lot. It shows his physique. No, like, the physique. You've been telling me you're playing pickleball small, all the time. This is a small. He's just eating the pickleball. You, you're large. not a small. I know, I'm big. So why do you I wear it if it's a small? An XL. No, I'm, I'm, I'm an L. You're why an L. do you wear a small? You're a small. I don't get it. Because this is the first thing that I found on my, on my pile of clothing. Well, why do you even have a small in your pile of clothing was it for your, uh, for your son i had to give this shirt away and i find out that i didn't uh, by mistake it I was for his daughter he got it for he went in his daughter's room and yeah okay <laughs> all right so by the way so AC what Milan, a week ac milan winning <laughs> and then ac milan is tied with roma uh -huh. to fourth place la parola a il signor marco messina well, i was gonna say i think we did a podcast uh recapping the champions league obviously we're gonna do this uh about Serie A, but you haven't been able to talk right you weren't here when we yeah, did our champions league yeah, podcast so we didn't get Peter's take on Inter qualifying to the next round and as well as going up against Milan. So how do you feel? It feels great, especially the season that we're having. I mean, we lost 11 games, I think, in, in Serie A. So this is not where you're supposed to be. You're not supposed to be in the Champions League semifinal. Um, obviously, the, I think the approach to the game, we, we criticize Inzaghi a lot, but he uh, versus Benfica was able to really... Uh, stabilize and control this Benfica team and I mean at least you know for the most part Inter played the better part of that game and you know the game ended 3-3 maybe I was a little upset about letting in that third goal because that's just that extra grinta that you need to be able to maintain the result but the game was always in Inter's hands you know once you go up 3-1 then at that point there's uh there's no pressure because you know that they have to score five goals so well played game it also was very important that some of our players that have been lacking or slacking this past year such as lautaro mm -hmm. you know he got uh, his first goal in champions league this season get right? his goal mm -hmm. correa also got a goal correa scored a beautiful and goal barella, was, your... barella was the man of the match in both games i even saw dumfries go after an opponent go take him on 1v1 mm. so it looks like inter is getting hot, shock. hot. At, at the right, right time, time right? at the right time at yeah. the right time even, so even in, in the you <laughs> so know in Serie you. Lukaku Who scored scores, a brace yeah. so beautiful it's goals very man. very good to see yeah. that things are, are starting yeah. to go our way maybe yeah. um, but I want to also compliment Milan because they were you not really mean it to compliment us I don't what know P. Yeah. No, I'm serious Shake just say you mean it I mean it I have to compliment Milan they they beat the top team in Italy right now you were able to control Farashelia yeah, that half, you know, all the all the top teams are interested in him, are interested in uh, Barella. Osimeno, it is what it is. He only was able to play the, the second game. But you guys were able to neutralize a very, very sound team and you played your game. And I think if we got a compliment or, or give credit to Inzaghi, we have to do the same thing to Pioli because I think the the marking of, of uh, Varashelia, where there was always two, three guys on him, yeah, yeah, yeah. and not giving up anything extra to anyone else. You know, Magnan, what a fantastic performance in the two games. Best goalkeeper of the world, by the way. Yeah. Cheers and you know what, that. guys? We, on that. the introduction, I forgot. So we have over here wine. This wine here is courtesy of our producer, 
Enrico Bocca di Fuoco and the For wine, the people don't speak English, uh, and, Italian And the wine is called Rosso di Fuoco From Bocca di Fuoco And out of Filipino How do you, pr- how do you translate to English? In English Enrico is Enrico is Henry Henry No, no, no Henry of Fire From <laughs> Mine of Fire Ricky, Ricky Ricky, so Ricky for the, Fire For the people, that, fire. For the people that are very now. confused right now Bocca di Fuoco is his last name. It means mouth of fire. And then Mike came up with the name since he makes his own wine. Rosso di Fuoco guys, means red of fire. Guys, I wish it's, you could from good. the camera. You could taste this wine. This is what gets me going. Why don't this you start selling like his fire. wine? Why don't I'll, you go I'll, into if, business with I'm the producer? Do it. I'm I'm do how much it. a bottle? Uh, I would say $45. That's me. What about for yeah. our fans? From, uh, for, for our fans. 20, 20. Come on. No, 25. 25. Yeah, it's okay. got to be good. It's, it's got to be good. No, it's not, it's not it's going to be good. It's excellent. How much? What's the split between you and Enrico, though? I'll give him $5 a bottle. Oh, you give him <laughs> <laughs> He makes a wine. You're promoting so it you at the end of the day. I, I am the promoter. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's, You're a good promoter. He's the producer, and I'm the promoter. <laughs> <laughs> so, Nick, that, Nick, you try the wine. Right, Nick? Even okay. our uh, our uh, regista over here in uh, <laughs> is agreeing. Right, Nick? No, Mr. No. Molinari. All right, so. Congratulations, Wait. Pete. I think uh, I, I have nothing to nothing bad to say about your comment. I think it was spectacular. Here, <laughs> spot comments. on, spot on. So he just gave he gave you a compliment. Yeah. Can you give Inter a compliment? I have to be, I have to be honest with you. I see Inter playing with a lot a lot more concentration. Maybe because uh, the the time demands it and uh, the circumstances demand it. That uh, the concentration is uh, is uh, going to be um, you know paramount since we are part of a paramount plus <laughs> over here so uh, that makes sense doesn't it yes Mike? it does it yeah does. you're good so uh technically you guys have to just step it up and you play in the tempo that i, I haven't seen inter playing mm. the last few games mm. i think they stepped up the tempo the level of contr- uh, the level of concentration is over there la lula is starting to uh mm. to la come lula. together again and uh you know we want you guys and we don't want to give inter an opportunity to have an excuses roma our team will be at injuries well no you are at the top of your level so when you're going to be facing ac milan god forbid you lose you're going to say you're going to have to come and lick our shoes mm. actually at the bottom of our shoes i wow. said you guys deserve it and then you're going to say we really so you're suck. very confident That's in this game. no i think we are okay. we are i think we're going to take do we have any here. bet between you two for this game or uh, maybe We'll think about it. You no, know, we'll I think people in the comments section. Guy, you know, I, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I think I have a lot of I have a lot of people here. For the rest of my life, six or seven trips to the to the steakhouse over there to Peter Luger. I never paid. You said Peter. I never paid. You always paid steaks at Peter Luger. I think I think you got this confused. Yeah, which you got you got your facts confused. The steakhouse is Peter Curto. Peter Curto. Yeah, we're going to Peter Curto. So, well, we can ask our lovely fans if they have any. You know, would be funny. You know, would be fun if we made them go into. <laughs> now, yeah. now I'm thinking. You ever seen those guys that have to hold up a sign when they oh, lose God. FIFA? On the highway. Like, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a loser in FIFA or something. Maybe we got to put you, or maybe you guys got to watch a game with the opposition team. Like Antonio's got to go watch a game with the Inter Club of Manhattan. I got no problem with wearing that. an Inter jersey, oh, cheering. It would be funny the, to see. The you highway in that one group. was funny. I think it would be much funny. Beep. Let us beep, know that. Let, let, let us know in the comment I section. Have wear, I have to wear something. I come No, no, no. no. I need we'll, to know. It's we'll you. give you hair. They're gonna kill me. They're gonna kill me. They're not, they're not nice. They're we'll not your fans, those, those people. No, because they, they know how much I love Inter. So, uh, we'll give you a wig with glasses. A I'll wig, say. I'll, I'll take right. it. I'll take well, it. Well, actually, I'll go with my friend there with the producer over here. Producer. So it's like my buddy, my bodyguard, this guy here. This guy, Enrico, can take punches. The Inter fan, uh, the Inter club of Manhattan. They'll take Harry, care would of you me. save me, Harry, when we go, if we go to Inter fan? Right now? Yeah. No, you see, mm-hmm. what I did, I made, I opened my mouth before the game <laughs> of Atalanta and Roma. And uh, Enrico, I didn't know he had a bet on, uh, on uh, Roma. You did. You, 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 you. And then I said to You're him, I said, he said to me, he said, this morning, actually on the phone, he said to me, I want Roma to win today. This said, morning? Yeah, no, this so morning. So you said you didn't know about it. Well, <gasps> oh. Ah. <laughs> Yeah, we got hands in the cookie jar. Rosso Mama. Well, I told uh, him, I said, you made a bad bet. I said, next time you have to call me. So, so for it, anyone that doesn't know, uh, because obviously you couldn't know, if you're ever hanging around Antonio, he's just like, he's got this aura around him that you lose bets, the yeah. jinx. Leave as soon as you he, see He's him, always there bothering you're you, telling you to cash out. They should call you the mush. What does that mean, mush? The mush. You mush ever shot. seen it? You ever see the, the movie? movie? No, I don't wow. watch those. I, I watch only tennis and soccer. I don't watch... Uh, I don't watch the broken uh, arm. Look, and, uh, yeah. Nikki, Nikki, <laughs> you enjoyed the last episode of The Broken Arm? Great cast, and right, Nick? Formula Nick. One, Anto, huh? And Formula, Formula One. Formula One, <laughs> yes, Formula that. One. Okay, let, let, let's get on to serious topics. Let's go. Lukaku, getting back into form. Mm. The second goal really looked like mm. classic vintage Lukaku. Your boy, Lautaro, also scored in the game. Uh, 15 goals, right? 
Mm-hmm. I think in the season for the third time, third season in a row, just like Mauro Icardi did. How are you feeling about that? No, it's very important that they get hot in the right time. I think with strikers especially, at times they can be streaky. You know, that's why the top strikers cost a lot of money because those are the guys that could always find the back of the net and always going to be dangerous lurking in the, in the area to, to score Which a goal. is the real version. So, the thing is, we, I, you know, we've been watching Lautaro for so long and we already know what to expect from him. You know, he, he's going to have those ups and downs. As a, as a true prolific goal scorer, he, he has the uh, the ability to, to make, you know, something out of nothing. But at times he can get lost or tries too much. And, and mm. that also uh, casts a bad, you know, like shadow of, of his real ability. Because, you kn- listen, if a, if a player is able to score, like you said, in three consecutive years, you know, 15 goals, then there's something there. And and I'm not the one to say, oh, Lautaro is, is trash or he's, he's not the top striker or a great striker. He's a good striker. He can arguably be a, a great striker, but he's just not that next level that I think a lot of uh, Inter fans hoped for him to be. How about Lukaku? Like, Lu- are Lu- we going to see this Lukaku translate uh, towards the rest of the season? Because you still have top four to play Listen. for. You have Champions League. You have the Copa Italia. Italia. Yeah, we, can, can, we can only hope that Lukaku is able to put on a performance that he did versus Empoli. But what do you think? Because... What I think... Do you think this is the Lukaku breakout moment, finally, at Inter? Well, it's not so much finally. Year. He's he's had a, a tough it's, season this year with it's injuries. It's do or he die, it. Pete. It's, it's do okay, or die. Pete, it's the first time he scored an open play goal in Serie A since the first round. But he's been injured. He's been out of it. He's okay, overweight. So, so it's fair to say that so he's he's breaking out now. Yeah, okay. Well, listen, do you think I, or, I was saying breaking out that you know when he was on Inter two years okay. ago, it was a find whole other form, animal. Find his form. So right now, okay, if you want to say breaking out in that sense, yes, I think that... Now he's got those goals. He feels uh, loved again because he's a type of player that needs to have that yeah. encouragement um, or be the one to, to make something out of it. So arguably, he's ready. He said he's fit. He said he's feeling great. Mm-hmm. So I think, when, when especially for players of uh, of his size, you need to feel good. You need to be able to, yeah. to be 100% mm. or else you're going to lack. Mm. You know, he's lost speed. How many times we, we watch a game... And two years ago, Lukaku fly past. Yeah, yeah. Like, he lost speed. What happened? He doesn't yeah. put the gas on the on the car. Oh, he's gotten know. older. He's gotten oh, older. Gotten older. No, no. Injuries. Last year was a very poor season for him. So yeah. there was a lot he's of these of uh, physical and mental uh, shocks, I guess, that have changed his style of play. He's still someone that you know physically you want him on on your team. You know for his ability on the ball. You know, he's not the most technical, but he finds the net. You know, even when he was playing with Belgium recently, he mm-hmm. scored four goals in two games, right? That mm-hmm. was the statistic. So it's a it's a good problem to have for sure. And now that he's scoring, it seems like Inter can, you know, Inzaghi especially, can have his pick because he has Zeko available, Lautaro, Lukaku, Correa. It's a good pick. And I want to also say, not to change topics on the strikers, but Brozovic coming back, is going to add to that midfield quality where you have four quality midfielders able to rotate. Mkhitaryan, Brozovic, Chanaloglu, and Barella. No, but not so much that they're the superstars, but these are guys that can play the ball and you're not losing anything in terms of quality when you got to sub one or the other out. I I wonder how much of Lukaku starting to do well now has to do with the fact that, you know, we read the rumors that Chelsea doesn't want to keep him. Inter doesn't want to renew him, right, again. And if this is, he's got this last few games, right, in, in the league and in the Champions League and the Coppa Italia to prove his worth. And if he scores a couple goals in those big moments in the Champions League or to help them qualify for the Champions League, they will want to redeem him. So he's kind of playing with his back against the wall and it's sort of do or die because I don't know who would take him after this spell at Inter. I don't think he'll get that top club, especially top dollar. But to transition from teams doing good that other team is you because Milan is finally hitting their form from 2023. You guys were awful. You went on a, mm-hmm. a, a terrible streak mm-hmm. of games where you, you couldn't win. You didn't look like yourselves. Now you're playing with that freedom and, and Lecce is a tough team. Lecce is a team that a couple of times Banda was dribbling his man, mm-hmm. they trying the to break on the counter. Yeah. The they had a, a great yeah. opportunity, but you play calm, you play simple. And then Leao is back to the form that when he plays, Unstoppable. Best, really. He looks like the reigning MVP 
of the Serie A from last year. I keep saying that Leao is not the MVP. Magnan is the MVP. But he won the MVP. But I want to, first of all, if you give me the opportunity, I want to compliment Peter. Pete, I got to compliment you. No, 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 no. I'm not going to compliment you. We're usually not Because nice. many times off the camera, you're a total different person. Oh. But on the camera, oh. Oh. He said you're fake. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. No, Peter is the king of the word salad and he twisted everything <laughs> into a pretzel <laughs> to make it Inter look good all the time. But off the camera, when he's watching the game and they're losing, you're going to see it's Brozo and Lukaku. It's like a mess. That's no, normal. inside, in front of the camera, this guy, this, this, this is, it's nothing but praise. You are a true Inter fan, Pete. I got to congratulate myself with you. Pete, <laughs> is that a compliment? Okay, you're playing mind games, right? Tell, yes, Mike, what do you think I about Leo? Lau looked like last season's Lau. Uh, he looked like the MVP that he was crowned la for having a fantastic season, man. Uh, he, he's been playing good, especially that goal against Napoli, man. When he ran past that whole field by himself and gave an easy tap in. What about the two against Lecce? And and the two against Header. Lecce. He's so, I mean, first of all, his forget about his technical ability, his finish ability, his speed, just having that kind of speed... And seeing it from a high angle, seeing how fast he is, and a lot of these defenders only resort, if they can even catch him, is to foul him. Because they just can't get the ball away from him. What about the celebration, Mike? Uh, the the, the, the serve. Uh, what do you call it? Can I you show us the celebration? You, doing, you did it very well. Well, I cannot do it. But yeah, yeah, you can't on, the table. on the table? No, no you can go. move your chair and, and do it a little further back. Mr. Molinari, he's on the squad. camera, right? I'm on the camera, Nick. As like, no, you can... no, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. I can see myself over Let's go. There. Can I? Nick. Do your best impersonation, Olea. You look like a surfer. Yeah, your knees are about to crack. Mickey, how is it? <laughs> they said me give me the thumb up, so I'm good. So. Andrew, you're very athletic for yeah, I, I got it. a fellow. Everybody tells me the same thing. Anyway. Because well, you are. It's our time right now, and we're going to take it all the way. We're just looking for the wow. fourth place. We're going to get some extra money on the Champions League because mm -hmm. our money that, they, that we're going to... We, we need to make cassa. In Italiano, we say, dobbiamo fare cassa means... House we money? Need to get, yeah, we need to get as much money <laughs> as possible because we're going to spend them on players that they are worthy of AC Milan. Not of, of this... Uh, don't say anything because I know what you're going to get. Okay? No, no, I was going to ask how, yeah. how you guys both feel uh, about the, the fourth place spot. Because, I mean, when you look at it and you hinted at before with Roma losing and Atalanta getting back into the equation, I was doing, I, I literally pulled out a notebook and I started adding up points. I went through everybody's schedule. It is so hard and tight. And I had Milan and Inter actually level on the same amount of points oh. coming into the end of the season that's how close it is and even Lazio who none of us had in our top four it's almost hard to get them out of it yeah. they would have to have a complete collapse Roma now getting into the top four could be difficult but the two to six position in Italy is extremely difficult to predict are you, you know, guys both feeling confident? You know what makes me confident? AC Milan with, with the big team, against the big team, it always uh, uh, does very well. So let's say how many points we have available. We have, the five, we have to get five of those big teams. There's seven games left. Seven games. So I will say uh, AC Milan is going to take uh, between uh, 13 and 15 points. 15 Out of points 21? Be, yeah. 15 points. Okay. Yeah, I think you guys could do better than that. No, I think we, we have 15 points. 15 points, we are on the Champions League. Let me see what I, I mean, uh, Milan are 56 points, tied with Roma on points, and sixth place Inter are two points behind. We're going to get to 70. 71 it takes you... It, with 71, you are on the first four place. So I had you guys... I have uh, Milan getting 18 points. Oh, wow. I and like Inter that. getting 17 points, which means you guys both land on 71. Mm. That's what I have. That be? We are no, in front we of have, Inter. Yeah, we, we are in front of Inter. What the hell are you watching? No, no. Milan, Milan we have are in front uh, two of Inter. points ahead of Inter. Yeah. Paisa, what have you been drinking? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe too the, much Rosso di Fuoco. Are uh, you sure that's updated? Eddie, did you just buy I don't know. Maybe. I did it yesterday. I did do it oh, yesterday. I did it yesterday. Oh, right. It still doesn't change I know. Right. It doesn't change. I think I did it after Milan's game, too. Oh, boy. I mean, you guys have 71 points. We scrambled them after the football game. I think he gave us, you miscalculated the Inter point. We got 20 points. Yeah, this guy looked really bad yesterday. Maybe. Yeah. Really? I'm trying to help you. Pete, the TV was crying yesterday when we were watching Mark over there on Paramount Plus. The TV good. was crying. Was crying. I mean, there were tears coming down from the TV. I said, "What's, what's going on?" So it was good. this guy here with a smiley face crying. Mm. <laughs> so Mike said, "Give me." Show him the meme. Show him the meme of the <laughs> the crying Michael face, but, but you're crying on the back. You you'll like this meme. Show me. Yeah, we, we Wait, keep us, talking. Us, show Michael yeah, Jordan. Yeah, but talking. also, you don't know why though. I lost. I had a, a crazy bet, kind of like Enrico. 
I had Leao to score, Milan to win, and then Napoli, Juventus 10, 1-1. Wow. So the goal taken away from Juventus would have been 1-1, and I would have been able to make a lot of money and get back into the race. Mm. Do you what understand this, man? <laughs> You understand? Right? I love that. Can you send it to me? <laughs> you understand? Yeah, right? I do. Of course. This so was, this was it's like when you have to play play oh a part. You have to act yeah, like I you're know, not mad. I know, I know. So you put the. the That's why it was so fun yesterday. Was was Whose idea was that to record the video? In the Greek. That was good. Because I was going to say, there's no way he knew the tissue. I got the tissue. Because that's a meme. It's a meme. I'm Anto's ghostwriter, guys. You're ghostwriter. You're the guy that. Mm. I didn't album. have the tissue anyway, but my idea is to look at Marco, look at Marco, Marco, like he's crying inside. I said, I don't oh, know, I got the tissue, good, then, then, and then we went out to get the My little content creators. Yeah, These guys are yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, These guys are good. It's my partner. It's my partner on football. It's my partner on football. We beat those yeah, two your, guys. Your partner's we everywhere, beat, you two, We huh? beat the producer over here, and they, they're so mad. <laughs> they're so mad. They have the, oh, the mask on, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So how do you, uh, well, whatever, we'll, we'll transition, and we'll go towards uh, other teams into the top four. So Lazio, Napoli. Lazio was a, was another beautiful surprise for me. I was not expecting yeah. Juric yeah. to go to uh, Rome and just take the, the game away from them. I mean, Juric has punished AC Milan in a couple, two of the three games that we played. And he's got to play guy, Atalanta. Yeah, they so. eliminated us from uh, the Coppa Italia. They punished us in the Campionato. Now, uh, for some reasons, I was for the first time cheering for him because I don't like that team. It's always trouble for him. They're a tough team. Yeah, it's really a tough team. So uh, they took the game to Lazio and they beat Lazio. And, uh, you know, I've been reading lately a lot of these uh, uh, referees, uh, missed calls or whatever the case might be. That includes even on the game that you guys want to yeah, we'll talk about it. Napoli. But Lazio, anyway. you, think, you think they're secure top four? Everybody Lato, think they're yes, I, I think it's cemented. Uh, he's got one of the, well, the cemented likely. places. Well, I no, mean not that, most likely. Do you think they are he's, cemented? He's, I mean, it. I lost against Oriana. I was like, guys, what are you doing? You guys, gonna, you guys got a security It's a short points. second. But I, I think it should be good. No, so, sure. I mean, Sari has what... He left the other competitions to focus on top four. So, he better get top it's four. It's a solid, solid. He won't finish second, but he'll, he'll yeah, get he'll be the top four. Yeah, mm -hmm. Oh, wait a moment. Allegri said he's going to finish seconds, right? That's what he said on the paper. He says, yo, let's, let's forget about the game and let's concentrate on... Uh, on uh, I think he said that when they played Lazio because they were close mm, on points. Mm, mm, mm. Uh -huh. I think that's what no, he said. I think he said it yesterday. Did he? Yes, he did. He said, he said it yesterday. yesterday. Talk about Napoli-Lazio? Yeah. Uh, Napoli-Juventus. Napoli, 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 Napoli-Lazio, yeah. Wow. Wait, yeah. Rosalie Fogg. Yeah, yeah. yo, I'm, too I'm much, all messed too much up. Go, Rosalie just Fogg. take over from me. Listen, listen. Yesterday was one of the most enjoyable day of my life. Wow. Mm. How I said wedding from day? the very beginning, the way, suck. the way the team, the way the team <laughs> were playing, the way you the team were him? playing. Oh my God. See, that's what it is. I like him. I like him because he likes to rub it in. I like that. We're rubbing it in. In other words, them. open wounds, he throws souls on the side, but we don't have any wounds, Paisa. So whatever you're saying, it's it just, falls <laughs> off. Yeah, it falls <laughs> off. That's good. You want to okay. talk about the game? So I'm uh, talking about the game. The game was a tie game. Both teams, they played an excellent game. I have never seen Juventus coming and, and you know, being a, the, the, the team going after Napoli. Because technically, the Juventus takes the ball, waits on the three quarters, and then counters all the time. But yesterday, I saw Juventus with a, con una partita propositiva. In Italian, means you just take the ball and you just make play your game without waiting for somebody else to make that mistake. So Napoli was countered. It, it was a back and forth, back and forth. It was a boring at, at some point, but very exciting <laughs> on the, the second half. The second, second half, half was... Uh, the last 10 minutes the last, were that was insane. That was The insane. last 10, 15 they minutes on the second the half, they, went, they were after they each other so because forth. they knew it. I love the game. Juventus knew it that a tie would yeah. not really serve much uh, for them. So they went all the way yeah, out. Yeah, exactly. So that's why they brought the big guns. They brought, uh, you know, except mm -hmm. for, uh, for uh, what's his name? Uh, um, Vlaovic. No, no, no. Vlaovic came Milik? in. Uh, yeah, he came I, in for I mean, a minute. Milik, what are you talking about? No, the French guy that he oh, no. played. No, Pogba. what are you talking about? Pogba. Pogba, it's a player Rabiot that you guys are going to use. Yeah. Pogba, you should be using more. Well, he waited a long Jeez. time, even even with Vlaovic. Uh, I, I felt like Milik needed to be subbed out around the 80th minute. I think he needed more time. I mean, he scored that goal. The ball was out, obviously, with Chiesa, but he got himself into that opportunity. The guy can't catch a break. But Napoli, I, I think it was very... We, we posted this today. It, it's crazy that, you know, if you think about 2018, when they won 1-0 with Koulibaly scoring the same net, same late goal... This time it's Raspadori, and this time they're going to go on and win the Scudetto. That was a moment that they all believed that they were going to bring it home. Obviously, there was still a lot to achieve then, and then they collapsed. This time, it really is done. They need to beat Salernitana, and they can clinch if Lazio drop any points. If they tie or lose against Inter, the Scudetto is Napoli's. Of course, they're going to win it at this point. 
Um, so it, I also think it was nice that Raspadori got involved. You For know, sure. he's a player that's on the bench yeah. a lot of times. I think he's got a lot of what quality, a what a great goal. technical Very ability, goal. tough goal also oh to score. God. And the fact that he plays his part in this important moment that will be remembered, I think it's good for a young kid like him. It was uh, also, I mean, first of all, we got to have some context in terms of Napoli prior to that game were on a three-game winless streak. So I think it was a little nervous for them. They were thinking, oh, we're getting into this like bad slump and they had they needed to snap out of it and to be honest that it was a back and forth game and i probably would have favored juventus a little bit before the game was going on just because napoli felt like like i was saying i feel like they were in a small little rut and di maria got that goal then they ended up taking it away wow. i thought you were gonna win 1-0 at that point i was like oh di maria's going then they took it away uh then napoli scored i thought that was gonna be taken away because quadrato got fouled or was no, quadrato they, was not a foul. whatever That's i thought it was at first so it was very if they put that last 10 minutes on pay-per-view i probably would have bought it because it was so exciting and it was till the last second it was very it was very crazy and i loved i loved how raspadori got that because it was tough simeone always started he's like third third uh, choice for striker and uh it was such a good goal with with crazy rain coming down and all that stuff did you see zielinski's but, reaction too no, no. he just went on the floor. Yeah, he that. just laying on the but floor. But I feel like, like it was such he's a He's one of the guys that's actually been on the team. Like a lot of the young, a lot of the new players, they've done good yeah. kind of having the mindset of not remembering the past, like the battle uh -huh. wounds. But then when you see a guy like him who's that's been true. within he's the been team, he speak, he's been speaking to the Napoli fans for so many years. He feels their pain in a sense too when they've tried to come close. So I thought that was a, also a beautiful moment. You know, in all honesty, when I saw the, the, the replay on Di Maria's goal, and they, that was disallowed because mm -hmm. of the foul that was that occurred just a few seconds Milik before. and Loborka. Yeah. I said to myself, I said, what are the chances that this is... I think the ref, he made a discalculation, I think mentally. I said, you know what? It's overtime. The game is almost over. I don't want to I don't want to start to get this whole thing. Let me go and review the things. To me? No, it was a foul. It was a foul? It was a foul. Uh, no, for, me, for me, it wasn't a foul. Why not? No, because it, it's like, it's too slow down to as see that play. I, as I much as there is, there's I, contact, I but it, it, not enough. But no, Mike, as much as I don't want an, a Juventus to win, but I think they... they uh, no, I think it was a foul. But listen, I think, I think if you're going to implement VAR... You gotta use it. It was huh? the correct way that to implement it. Exactly. He Pete. saw the, he saw the kick on the shin first before the ball moved. How can you calculate? But there's literally nothing. But there's nothing. Right I understand, nothing. but you cannot calculate but based on how much he kicked or more. Yeah. So kicked let me, let me, let me put an argument more. on that. Let me put let me give one pushback. Yeah. If you go into the box right and you see one player like holding an right. arm right or right. or a shoulder to shoulder challenge, there's always a little bit of an elbow. Yes. If you slow that down and look. You have to take power into consideration. But, Otherwise, everything is an elbow yeah, that's yeah. a foul. Of course. But I think within the box especially, there's a whole other standard yeah. that is so used. So in other words, true. you can there's foul as whole, much as you yes, want on the box. There is. No, it's true. It's harder but to call a foul on the no, box than outside the box. There's a different standard in the box. Yeah. If they review the, true, the VAR on that and they see that play, you would see that sort of foul. But what I'm saying is within the box, there's a, a different level yeah. of st you know, standard. So allow, of the, it's allowed for the For sure. How many times? It's true. So forget about the box. So forget about the box. The box is not the important part of the equation. So the rule is a rule. The important part of the equation is like, any time that there is contact, technically, if there is anything before, like let, let's say it wasn't it wasn't uh, the the cleats, right? It wasn't feet. If there was a push, right? Any sort of elbow movement, if the referee is reviewing it, you're saying don't take power into consideration, but you have to. It's not just it's contact, a normal though. play, but Mike, it was a foul. Mike, it wasn't no. just contact. But it, it didn't no, look Mike. like it didn't look like there was a Mike, real foul. That line. He touches it, but foul, then he gets the ball. But, Mr. Producer, what do you think? It was a foul, yes or no? He got the ball afterwards. It was a foul. The he producer got, said it was a foul. He got the ball afterwards. Yeah. He got the ball afterwards. For yeah. me, three. Okay, so three, and two. And it was already uh, falling down. It was falling already, Henry. Everybody was sliding at the same time. I think if you the implement, implement yeah. the VAR, that was the way that they implemented nah, this. Is what it, fine. It, it is. It's a foul correct. that he reached in when for the ball. When you watch a full, full know, replay, like a full, is, not slow down, you see it and you're like, oh, it's just a normal play. I understand. You can review every, you know, every contact. You know, Glenn, Glenn, Glenn had a good point. Glenn had a good point. He says, this stuff here does not happen on MLS or or English Premier League because, you know, every single thing, every single tiny little thing that is reviewable after 
after well, the fact that then you disallow the well, staff. first off, MLS uses a whole different system. He didn't say MLS. MLS okay. said uh, <laughs> Premier League. No, he said MLS and Premier League. Yeah, you said yeah, that yeah. too. Like both. You no, said both. I think he just said Premier League. No, MLS and Premier League. Okay, okay. I heard it too. So the bottom line is this. Really. No, the bottom you. line is this. Listen, the bottom line is this. What are you saying? He said MLS. He said MLS and Premier League. We're not talking about him. Mike. He said Mike Grella said MLS. Oh, but I heard him say, okay, okay. Okay, bottom line is this. Yeah. Bottom line I heard, is this. I heard that my last. If we have the review, the VAR was brought in to resolve very, very contentious situation. Yeah. Now we're just using the VAR as a pretext for any tiny little thing. And if we don't see it, we go back with the land. Oh, but wait, look at this, look at this. It just give me a break. That but I then agree. Also, at the same that time, agree. how do they miss the one with Gatti? And uh, yeah, the punch. That was a red card. The punch. For me, that's a red card. And that, that, was, that, that, that was. logic the of guy, boom, he us, got usually, it. usually that should be reviewed by. Okay, the referee doesn't see it. That's fine. You know, he's running but the, the other way. But the bar saw it. The bar saw it. And and they saw it, and they didn't recommend him to go check it. Which to me, I'm like, they didn't see a good replay. All this that stuff. Was I think it was card. because it, it wasn't an effect of uh, like how the goal was. I'm assuming. No, no, no. It's a red card offense. Red card offense doesn't have to do with a goal. But then what other reason would it be? He suggested. They to didn't. not go yeah. and, and check it for the referee to not go and check it. What's the? I mean, but also look at Gatti's face when he does it. He looked nice. like a boxer. Like, he looked like a boxer. He did. He did. He and did. And then he afterwards, did. he goes like this because yeah, he, he knows that he wants to show that. For there. me, that's yeah, a red no. card. But you know, you know, can this be reviewed after the no, after no. the game and then no. give the suspension? Once the ninety minutes is done, I would have done that thing. I think once. Either, either way, if we focus on the field, like for me, that becomes annoying with the VAR on like how are they not. I mean, it was like as blatant as it gets. Wait, it was outside the box? No, outside. it doesn't matter. Course, Either way. No, it was on midfield. It was on midfield. Yeah, yeah, it was outside midfield. the box, but it doesn't make a difference no, for them to was, be able to no, review it. No, if it was on the box for a penalty, It doesn't matter, but for the red card. No. A red card is a red card, card offense. The guy without a... There would be a foul, though. A mic. The ball was not there. He didn't call it a foul either. He didn't see it. They didn't even close it. I get it, but I'm saying if they gave him a red card, wouldn't he get a penalty? Wouldn't they get a penalty? No, that had to do with a penalty. If he was in the box, I'm saying. I was not. It okay. was not. If it was so bottom box. line is they didn't they didn't give it the red card and they didn't give it the penalty. So I know they didn't call it. Was it. Was I'm just saying if it was a penalty, if it was in the box, if anyway, you gave a red card. Uh, that's our take on uh, yeah, on the I'm situation. Saying. What else we gotta talk about? Oh, we uh, gotta talk about Napoli. I think historically, if they win this next week, I think it's the quickest. Oh yeah, uh, six games to, win, to go, right? Uh, the scudetto. So that's a really? remarkable that's historic. Feet. Yeah, historic feat. You saw obviously all the Napoli fans. So celebrating Napoli's return as they deserve to, to, to be. Napoli, yeah, celebrating. that was incredible. So incredible. I mean, listen, some people getting mad at them. No, Yo, the, it's the in the bag. It's no. in the bag. It's not like you have to wait. They're saying I they're mean, celebrating too early. If, Come if on. anyone, well, uh, if uh, what do you call? It? If anyone was celebrating uh, early, the most superstitious people. Napoli They've been celebrating for two yeah. months. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's it's already, guys. Even Ludovico that he just called me a few minutes ago is celebrating already. Of course, Ludovico is the biggest Did you see the players from Napoli? Guys, it's the king of superstition. They're probably clinch this weekend. For me, they're gonna. I I kind of I wish they wouldn't though. You think they'll clinch this weekend? Yeah, yeah, they'll clinch this weekend. I wish they wouldn't though, because I kind of want them to do it at home yeah. in, while they're playing instead yeah. of on the couch. I know they tried to move the game. They should move the game around to play them at the same time yeah. at least yeah, so that we watch not play's reaction. I hope they have a video of them watching the game together in the sure. game. Um, and then if not, then it could go against Udinese. So the Lazio game is earlier. It's the Sixers. So we'll know it'll be predetermined in terms of if Lazio... No, but it's Sunday. Right? Yeah, Napoli play Saturday, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, oh, you're into right. Sunday. You're that's right, that's a right, problem. Right. And we're going to be playing the song <laughs> Very Superstitious. Da, 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 da. Right? Right? Mike. Yeah, we can play that if okay. you want. It's an incredible feat. We got to get Ludovico on, on the next podcast. For sure. Uh, no, to Ludovic, celebrate. Yeah, oh, to celebrate. Yeah, yeah to but celebrate. Ludovico is not celebrate until or the last second. Until we, should, the we should just watch. Whistles. We should watch on Sunday. We should watch the game with Ludovico. Six in the morning. Ludo, you oh, are pre warned. Wait, wait, he's going to be up. Yeah, well, all you we should record oh, our Should we be here at 6 o'clock in the morning? We should do that. We'll be at his house. I'm in. We'll sleep over at 6 o'clock in the morning today. All right, this is a good idea. We'll get Ludovico's reaction to when they officially win the Scudetto. All right. And then if they don't, we're gonna he's celebrate never gonna a Villa Bate with the coffee. Yeah. To watch with him. We're celebrating a Villa Bate with the coffee and the cornetto. The cornetto is like the, you know, we can do better than that. We gotta bring Prosecco. We gotta bring him. 
He deserves uh, 33 years. Oh, 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 we're going to bring, bring, okay, we'll bring it. Okay, I missed that. Oh, we can bring Grosso di Fuoco. Okay, why don't we talk about, di why don't we talk about Atalanta Roma as oh, well? Because wow, wow. crazy match. <laughs> Enrico, can tell us. <laughs> Enrico's crying behind the scenes right there. Oh, my friend Enrico. You know what would be funny? If, if Enrico never existed and we just made up a character. Like, because the people never saw Wait, Enrico. there's really an Enrico? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you do see Enrico? You show oh, oh, you do see Enrico. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bocca di fuoco. That would be funny. No, you ever see, what was the, there was a guy that that did that one time. Uh, there was like a, a YouTuber who made believe he had somebody off camera, uh, right? And it was that like was fake. Lieutenant Colombo keeps saying that his wife is <laughs> 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 That was Lieutenant Colombo. Lieutenant Colombo. Right. Yeah, that's exactly and what it was. And the wife never existed. The guy was never married. I said, my wife, my wife, my wife. Lieutenant Colombo? Yeah. What is that a what show? Is this guy? No, that was a Magu? That was, no, that was Magui. a movie. Magui. That was a series called Lieutenant Colombo. Really? <laughs> You're not, you're I said you too, Colombo, right, so. oh, Everybody knows it. Okay. Lutero anyway, uh, Atalanta <laughs> Roma. I I really didn't expect Atalanta to be able to win, especially their poor oh, home yeah. form. They they really struggled. I think they're 12th or they were 12th place um, in the league, just home table. And usually Roma away, they know how to get the job done. Uh, lots of changes though from Jose Mourinho, which we, we tend to see. And we had a joke around here that uh, the game. We, we shouldn't even watch the game until Dybala comes on because we know not to expect too much from from Roma. Uh, and, and just the way the game went was, was crazy. We thought at one point Roma got back into the into the game and then a huge mistake from Roy, Roy Patricio that just that cost them. And the amount of times that I've said that Roy Patricio has made a mistake that's led to them losing points is unbelievable. We had our friend Francesco in, the, in our group chat that said, usually they say goalkeepers great goalkeepers give a team 15 points it feels like Rui Patricio makes them lose 15 <laughs> points I don't you know, know if you want me to say way, that I feel, I feel bad for the goalkeeper because you don't want to be in that position you know uh, deciding the game uh, yeah, against your own team I mean they were down to one and nothing will have uh, probably striking will have happened maybe you Roma, never know maybe, 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 maybe Roma the game, the game. Oh. one point I know, maybe Roma tied no, the game about the guy. He would have hit his bat. Oh my God, yo, my friend Enrico. But also, they're fighting for Tal. You guys are tied with them. If they got a point, uh, I, like oh, point I like that. A point, like point would be massive. Point. point is very important. The only good things that I like about oh. him is he allowed AC Milan to tie up uh, and uh, okay, to okay. catch up Roma. But other than that, you don't want to be on the position. No, they need at least a tie. Right now. You can't. You couldn't so lose that game. Tie. It's oh. it's very difficult. I thought that this was going to be a tough game for Roma because you just played 120 minutes on a Thursday. That's true. You so. just uh, got through all that mental anguish and everything else to actually pass the into the semifinal of the Europa League. So I saw this coming where they were going to have like a little hiccup, uh, especially Atalanta, knowing that they're going to have the chance to push to get back into that fourth yeah. place race maybe. Yeah, for and, sure. And they were able to do it. So... Uh, you just know in the manner in which it happened, yeah. Rui Patricio, what a what a disaster! They're only, four, they're they're only four points away from yeah, they're right from there. Uh, well, top you, four. You know what's, the crazy thing is next weekend everybody's playing. There's yes, there's a sure. lot of direct matchups for yeah. the Champions League, oh, so direct competition. That's, that's where we're that's really gonna, gonna see yeah. how how the dust settles and things can change. I mean, it it's truly like the flip of a it's coin in points. determining who's gonna get into the top four. We made points. our predictions way back when. I think if we made them now, we might have even less of a shot of being able to predict it because no. I'm truly stunned as to what's going to happen. Going points. back to Atalanta Roma, I have a question for you. You guys, the three of you, you always praising Jose Mourinho, Mourinho, mm -hmm. Mourinho, the greatest one, the, 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 the bad, the bim, bim. I question his starting lineup. Why the hell are you have to keep Dybala into the bench okay. until you are forced to put him in because you want to get the game back on track? Doesn't have the minutes. So you in his go legs. over there. With doesn't the have the minutes in his legs. Wait a moment. But you go over there already thinking that your your team is good enough so you can't play to perform minutes. against this kind of yeah, Atalanta that's what he that we see. Yeah, he thought that lineup yeah, could then, get uh, the job done. I don't know. It's I think just, he did, uh, he, I think he's measuring energy levels. He knows what his objective is. He, wants he a has an easy. Aside from that, Europa, Europa League. Yeah. You think he's thinking about Europa League? But top four, I think it's overall, the energy levels. Even after though he the game on Thursday. Listen, the coaches get all the information. Oh, Europa League gets you Champions League. League. And they I have to be I'm able to, money. to understand what they can mil. and can't do. Yeah, yeah but you get into Champions League. They get into Champions League with a Europa League win. If they win yes. the Europa League, they yes. get there. Yeah, I think I that's their route. To, for me, that's my prediction. The only prediction that I have is that, well, at five teams, Roma wins Champions League. It wins uh, Europa League to get into Champions League. And what about Juventus? So I thought you said Juventus I mean, before. Juventus my stuff. feeling, early prediction, I think it's going to be Roma, Sevilla final, and Roma win the final. I think it's going to be Roma-Juventus. They're not on the same bracket, are they? No. Okay, so be, it's going to be Roma-Juventus. Juventus-Sevilla, 
And then Roma Leverkusen, who have a nice coach with Javi Alonso, who played for Jose Mourinho. Mm -hmm. He said he learned a lot from him as well. I, so I a nice think, matchup. I think it's going to be harder to win the Europa League than to, make to top get top four. four? It's, mm. it's, it's, I feel it's very opposite. difficult. I've, why? I don't know. I just I think that there's too many teams for the top four, and I feel like Roma's a good tournament but team. Right there, Roma too. Roma become tough to beat in these one off matches. Yeah, I and get that. They they grind it out. They defend. They feel like a tournament. Yeah, team. but Marco, look like, what's like going on Inter right now. They don't have Smalling. The ball is uh, half and half. Uh, somebody else is already all banged up over there. What's his Wijnaldum. name? Uh, yeah, Wynaldo is not uh, in uh, top shape. So Who Mourinho. Gonna, oh, you're Lorenzo. Lorenzo. I mean, yeah. uh, let me tell you Roma's schedule, and you tell me what you guys think from the 21 point points. They Go play ahead. Milan next. They play Monza, <laughs> Inter, Bologna, Salernitana, Fiorentina, and Spezia. I gave what? Roma 14 points, but that's not saying much based on how I, I added mean, before. I mean, that's not an easy schedule. I mean, it's not. It's not that's difficult, not easy. but it's not easy. Either. You know what? I mean, the thing is, we we talk about it. Playing the bottom teams is so freaking annoying right yeah. now. They are fighting for their lives. Here. They're crawling. I, I I was laughing. I heard a couple comments about in the Premier League with Southampton and and uh, Arsenal, right? Talking about, you know, I saw Arsenal fans online saying, yo, we got to beat Southampton. But guess what? Playing Southampton is so freaking tough. They're fighting to stay mm -hmm. alive. I hate those matchups. Those are the ones where Scrap they will do it. anything. And you're you're expected to win already. You know, you're most people are like, oh, whatever. It's fine. I'm telling you, even from those games, I know some of them are big teams. Sometimes it's better to play those games towards the end of the season. That's the way that I. That's I, why I'm I happy. Things. I'm happy that it's Milan, and the next uh, on the schedule is filled up with all the top of the top of the team, top of the line teams. So that's why uh, AC Milan has a tendency of relaxing when we play small teams. So uh, hopefully that that is going to be uh, keep the level of concentration high, and it's going to translate in uh, good points for us. Anything else, guys? Okay. Oh, Fiorentina. Fiorentina. Fiorentina, where uh, they were Cam, winning 2-0. That was a crazy game. Yeah. I mean, you you can't, they can't. They can, they can happen. 3-2, they lost they to can Monza. Happen. You're that was a thrilling first That's half. That's a lack of concentration because they've, they they've been that. flying too high. They were they've 14 been winning games unbeaten or 15 be games unbeaten. Yeah. yeah. They were an yeah. incredible run. I never thought uh, Monza... I mean, Monza's an amazing team. Let's mm. not get it wrong. They're doing incredible with but Paladino. They beat but Juventus. They beat Inter too, right? They beat every... I mean, Paladino probably has the shout to next best... Italian coach. Maybe they should be coaching Inter if they're sucking Sagi. Or yeah, Juventus. Inzaghi. Or Juventus. He no, you guys are not going to get rid of Allegri. You guys are just too much. Anyway, focus on on two. Oh. I mean, both great coaches, we should say. Paladino and Italiano. Both yeah. nice uh, Italian coaches. And you're coaches. talking about the relegation battle. Uh, Salernitano won 3-0 against Asuolo. And Asuolo mm. just beat Juventus the, first, the week before. In the first half, right? They scored Yo, the three explain goals. Explain this to me. Uh, I we know that this happens, but insane. it is absolutely crazy. Was I, I, can crazy. See, I can see some some major upset. I would put my money on Sassuolo. Yeah, if, I'm talking about if I put ten dollars on Sassuolo, how much am I gonna get? To go down? <laughs> no, to win the game. To win what game. game? Oh, which game? So Against Napoli. Wait, because what? Napoli Wait, they're they're play now. They play Salernitana. So Wait, what are we passed. talking about? Now? Sassuolo. Salernitana <laughs> <laughs> Sassuolo. Oh, Salernitana Sassuolo. Yeah. No, no. Salernitana is gonna play Napoli now. Okay. So, yeah. so you want to put ten dollars on Salernitana? Yeah. I don't know about that. <laughs> I would put ten dollars. I would actually I put twenty dollars. Right, give me ten dollars. I'll put it on it. Okay, here, here. I'll give it to you. All right? I'll give you the $10, uh, twenty dollars on Salernitana. That's gonna win me. One. How much you want to give me? You win, if you, you tell, bet twenty, you, right you win ten dollars. <laughs> you, you lose, you lose. Hey, so. I'll give you thirty dollars for Salernitana <laughs> to beat me. I'll tell you right now. Anto, how much are you gonna give me? I'll give you fifty. Thanks, buddy. And me. Nah, you, you ain't okay, a fan. Okay, $20? Twenty dollars <laughs> wins you two hundred and twenty. Well, what am I? Now nah, I want more money. That's that's <laughs> incredible odds. I want more money. So go get a job. <laughs> <laughs> that's because you're at the studio all day with us. <laughs> he keeps canceling his jobs. That's why. Yo, one oh, other. Th don't give that information, Mike. <laughs> one one other thing. I watched Mario Balotelli on a podcast today. Oh, he got shot. interviewed on a podcast in Italy. I think it's Musica Salvaggio. Is that mm. the name? It's with the rapper, Italian rapper. Mm. I kind of want to give Ma Mario another chance. Mario, that's I've, my I've always wanted. I never, that's my I never ruled him out. I think he. You got to You got to listen. He's a staple. Yeah, you got to listen to this podcast. The pain in his voice at some times when he talks sure. about like what he could have been. He says that Mino Raiola told him the only reason why Messi and Ronaldo are dominating in the Ballon d'Ors is because you've never played more than twenty percent of your potential. Mm. Wow. He said it hit him. He's like it hit me that I I was like, damn. If I could go back, I think he said, if I could go back, I would have, I would have tried a lot harder. Mm. I still, uh, I have a soft spot for Mario. Mario did uh, very well on AC Milan, and uh, he's, uh, again, he did Inter, he did uh, Italy, he did Manchester City, Italy. Uh, it's, it's a good kid. 
Mario's uh I want to give him. I think we all we all have a soft spot for him. Uh, I like, we still want to believe. Like, like when I was watching that, I'm like, shit. Was at 18, when I remember watching him, I was like, this guy's gonna be the next one for that us. That goal against Germany, and he had a great career. He, he, he did it. He won a lot. Mm-hmm. He won Champions League. He won he a won lot of Scudetti, he right? Scudetto with he won with Inter. Inter. He won with Milan, mm-hmm. right? He, did he win the Scudetto? Was it with Milan? No, I thought he won the Scudetto. Oh, so that's it. He only won. But he won with Manchester City with Mancini. With Mancini, he's the one that actually gave Mancini a title. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. How many assists does Balotelli have in his career? Three. Oh, that was oh, a quick my. answer. Five. One. Oh, my you know God. And it, was, and it was that pass to Sergio Aguero that won the no. premier league you title. See, you, you see? see? Really won this. Yeah. Yeah. It was like a thing that went viral. That's pretty bad, recently. right? Very one true? dimensional. Double check. Accurate. Double check. <laughs> check transfer market. Balotelli uh, career assist. Wow. I feel it's got to be more than a one. So. I feel. Uh, oh, you think it's more than that? What is it? Yeah, this is yeah, yeah. just your for show? It literally just died. No, it literally just died. Yeah, this, is, this is what Mike is looking at. No, but it literally yeah, just died. Mike is looking at. That's my Yo, He tried guys. to play it off, too. He yeah, put yeah, his bow behind just there. Yeah, he's trying to look like this. He's trying to look smart. Nick, he's trying to look good with computer. The guy doesn't even know how to type, Mike. I went to open a tab and it died. Yeah, the tab. Open the tab. Open tab. You know when you go to the bar, you get an open tab? Okay, Mike. Anything uh, else from us? So what else do we have left? I think that's it. I think that's it. I think Milan on fourth place again. And uh, <laughs> top four. Yeah, top four. Who's your top four? Top four. Uh, Napoli. Napoli. Milan. <laughs> Lazio. <laughs> uh huh. I wanted to throw Juventus in, but I don't want them. <laughs> I'm gonna throw. Um, no, not you, Pete. No, Actually, no, no I'm sorry, Juventus. Yes, I'm going to put them in. How many assists does he have? For Man City. For Man City. Oh, maybe Man City. Oh, for Man City. Oh, yeah, for Man City. Career. Okay, Man City won. No, you said Korea. Oh, my, sorry. Yeah, okay. My, my, my yeah, sorry. Man City. He doesn't have that City. many assists, to be honest. He has how many, assists. How many does he have? Two, four, six, uh, nine, nine assists. Okay, you see, Two, I said three. Mm-hmm. All right, three. All right. But you sorry, Man City. Anyway, bottom line. Bottom line, I don't see Wait, who's your fourth team? Yeah, I said Juventus. Juventus. We said, oh, Say it. Say oh, it. Say, P- it. P- say it. Say it. Napoli. Not, but be, be the way you you have to mean it. Napoli. Napoli. Not Napoli already won. Is it? Don't even hey, count. Napoli. Napoli. Juventus. Milan. Inter. Lazio out. Oh, scusa. Ho scordato Lazio. It's Napoli. Juve. Lazio. Juve second. Inter. Juve second. They're gonna. Help. I got the same thing as you, except Milan for Inter. Wow. Are we on like, Nick, are you recording you this? It? Yeah, I said the last Napoli. time. Napoli, uh, Lazio, Juve, and Milan. Okay. Guys, <laughs> everybody, thank you for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Ciao, Ciao guys.